Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Hack the Planet. Today I'm bringing you an HP Stream 7, originally pre-installed with Windows 8.1 Home Edition, 32-bit. Uh, today I've installed Windows 10 on this device and it went without a hitch. I did the installation manually, which may have been to my own detriment, because now uh, this tablet it back in desktop mode the uh, the screen format is in portrait mode with no option for auto rotation so what I'm going to do today is bring you a uh, I'm gonna use a keyboard for now this is a Logitech wireless keyboard uh, touchpad combination very nice design it was it's very inexpensive it competes head-on with Microsoft solution we're gonna plug this into the USB port using an OT, OTG cable with Windows 10 so now we have full control I'll switch the orientation so you can see what we're doing here for that you go to settings I know it's a little awkward you're looking at it sideways but I'll fix that for you just give me a second orientation let's switch this to landscape go ahead and apply that change what we're missing is a toggle switch right here, one that allows you to turn on and off the automatic rotation on the HP Stream 7. By the way, Windows 10 runs great on this device. Um, the tablet mode, desktop mode switching in Windows 10 is, is very well suited. You can find that most of the things that you do day to day, you can leave this in tablet mode. The uh, Win32 apps and the file explorer do work pretty well um, inside of the tablet mode uh, maybe a little glitchy for programs that weren't meant to run this way but I've been playing with uh, PaintShop Pro 9 on this device and it's been running very well so um, consider using regular Win32 apps as desktop apps in the future let will just go to Edge and we'll type in HP Stream 7 drivers this is why Windows tablets, in my opinion, are superior to Android tablets because um, this portion of the uh, of tablets is completely uh, repairable by the end user. We can go install device drivers independent of the main OS and Android. You have to recompile the entire operating system. So uh, HP has set up a neat little page for this inexpensive Windows tablet where you can download device drivers it tries to automatically scan it first uh, the very top link when I typed in HP Stream 7 drivers brought me here so this part is is very self-explanatory uh, just do that yourself pull it up the pull up the search results go to the HP website and it will um, bring you to this page the 5701 is the original HP Stream 7 tablet it's the one that's still in production there's no drivers available for Windows 10 just yet from HP so you have to go in here luckily Windows 10 and Windows 8 are pretty much the same thing I mean Microsoft could have called this Windows 8.5 to be honest I mean it's it's like Windows 8 with phone built right in basically but there is a driver here what you have to do is download the Kionix G sensor enabling driver let's click on this We'll go ahead and use the uh, download only option and click next because right now Windows 10's updated the touch interface works it's not a problem with the screen it's a problem with the G sensor inside of the tablet the tablet doesn't know which way it's rotated right now so we just gotta install this driver from the HP website We should see a long line of text run in the background on this. You want to make sure you grab any other drivers here. Uh, Windows 8 drivers should work just fine in Windows 10, especially better than the default drivers until there's an update. Uh, get your driver, uh, your graphics driver, the Intel drivers here, your BIOS. We got a firmware driver. Um, so you want to do all of that. When this is done, we should 
have the option to rotate the screen. There you go, that's all you have to do. Auto rotate is fixed on your Stream 7. Go ahead and undo the lock rotation and boom, fixed it. Hope this video has been informative. Again, thanks for watching my channel, Hack the Planet. Please like, share, subscribe, and have a great day.